Hello guys, welcome. So this is the fundamental networking tutorial. And the idea is we have a client here in the green and it should be able to speak with the server. The relationship would always be a client to a server relationship. The server has something to offer. The client has something to consume. Okay, so the direction is always gonna be like that, okay? Now you can see over here, we have a client console and then we have a server console. I'm gonna try and ping the server here and you try the server from server side, ping the clients and we should not be able to talk to each other. Networking is a means of getting this client to talk to the server, okay? And that means could mean that we could have, we could configure some devices between this client all the way to the server. Sometimes it could be just a simple wire. Most times it's going to be going through data centers, cabinets, routers, um, other routers, and other routers, the internet, where it gets the server. So if this server happened to be an Amazon.com server, you need to go through the whole of the internet and go through many hops. before you can get to the server, okay? All right, so the objective is get clients to talk to server. First and foremost, let's see, do we have connectivity at all? So on my clients, I'm gonna ping the server. Server is on 172.20.10.100, and it says host unreachable, you can see that here. Perfect server side ping 122.18.10.100, which is the IP address of the client, and it also says destination host unreachable. Okay, so neither of these two can talk to each other. Okay, how do we get them to touch each other? Let's go through the logic behind it. Now, This client is able to reach this router, the router being a layer, a layer through device. And this being the gateway that one IP address for the client network. The layer three by default will enable something called routing. And that means that when I get here, I can ping my gateway as well as that interface here. Okay, that interface there. Okay, but I cannot ping that interface here because I'm not directly attached to the same, I'm not, I'm not attached here. I'm only attached this way, okay? All right, so I need to tell my router a way to get to this 122.20.10 network. So my router here, I will create something called a static route saying to get to once we do 2010 network, please go via this guy here. Go via this guy here, over there. Why? Because this router knows how to talk to this guy here. And this guy, this router here knows how to get to this network, okay? I will never say go via the IP address here because that IP address is not known to me. It's only known to this router, okay? So simply, simply put, which of my neighbors is the best gossiper? Who knows about everybody else? Okay, my direct neighbor happens to be this guy here. So when I give him the information that I need, he's able to go and search and bring me the result I need, okay? So I will say, whenever there's a request to go to 1.2.20.00 network, please go via that guy here, okay? That's gonna be this direction. We do that first and we will see if we can ping the server. If not, there are other things we're gonna do to ensure that happens, okay? So come with me. I'm going to go on that router called R1. And router R1 console is like that. Additional IP interface brief it says to me that i have two interfaces 
first not not first not one and first not not happens to be base network okay and first not one happens to be the network so this is the client network and that is the interlink between the two routers so if i do show ip route the route table it now tells me that i do have a network for the line network it's one subnet subnetted and it's directly connected to interface f not one which you see over here Okay, and then it has another direct link between these two. Okay, all right. So, now, for this route, can I ping my neighbor, F00? So, I ping 10.10.100.2, and I can get to it. Okay, so there's, there's an established connection between the two. But can I ping the server from here? Ping 102.20.10.700. And it says, right now, I can't get to that. But why is that so? Why is that the case? Why is this the case? Well, I'll tell you why. Because router one doesn't have knowledge of the network and the only person who has not the knowledge of the network is this interface here called interface here called fast zero zero yeah so i'm going to tell my router that if you want to get to that one hundred two twenty 20 network please go via fast not zero zero so for one hundred two dot twenty dot ten dot zero network go via f not not okay all right so let's do that then so i'll get into read mode and i'll say ip route and my destination is 122.20.10.0 255 255.255.0 go via what i want to go via an ip address okay so i'm going to go via the forwarding routers address and that is 10.10.100.2 and i can give it a name and i'll say route to router to lun network i don't know if it's too long but i'll give it a go see so if i do do show ip route do show this brief okay and now i see i've got a route here so now i do have a static route via 10 1002 so when I exit here and I do ping 122.20.10.100, which is the server, it's going to go via who? 10, 10, Let's see if we can get to it. Lose one, ping the others. There we are. We can get to it. Okay. So now from my client, I might still get to server number. Let's go ahead and give it a go. So one more time. The client, I ping the server. Let's see. Can I ping the gate for the server, which is a problem? It's timing out. And why is that the case? Because when you create routes going one direction, you should also take care of creating routes coming the other direction. So first and foremost, let's go to router two. Now I'm gonna make sure the interfaces are up. Okay, so I'll do show IP interface brief. 
Okay, and both of those are both words. Okay. Let's just make this font a little bigger. Okay, so can I ping from the router to to one through two dot eighteen dot ten dot one? Can I do that? Router two says I don't know how to get there to that network. But it can definitely get to the ten ten hundred dot one. So we're gonna tell it to do something. Ping ten ten hundred dot one. I can ping it, so I'll do conf t interface, sorry, IP route to the 172.18.10 network to the zero. Yes, 18.10.00 network, 255.255.255.0 network. Go via 10.10.100.1. Okay, and I can also give it a name. All right, let's see, I can say, Route to router ones LAN network. Exit WR. This is just saving the config. Now let's ping one to the two dot eighteen dot ten dot one, which is the gateway for the LAN interface, and I can get to it. Okay. So now let one more time. Let's try now. And here you are. We've established connectivity between ourselves and the server. How so? Because we did two things. We created a route from router one via F not zero zero for the LAN network. which is where the server is hosted. Okay, so we just said to get to this network, I beg your pardon. To get to this network here, go via that interface. Okay, go via that interface. Okay, so this is how networking works. So in the future, when you build your virtual machines on Azure, you will need to get a virtual machine to talk to other virtual machines and other virtual machines and maybe database to provide a service. So it's important for you to understand networking. And this is a, just a, dem a demonstration of how you can use networks to get machines to talk to each other or get clients to talk to servers. Okay, so I hope this was helpful for you. I'd like to thank you for viewing and I'll see you on the next one.